Finally, we have a doctor that changed the pathway of oncology, paving the way for cancer treatment as we know it. Born November 20th, 1990, was Jane White, whose family was already breaking barriers in terms of medicine. Jane and her sister Barbara represented the third generation of white family medics. The tradition began with their grandfather, who after being born into slavery, later graduated from Meharry Medical College as valedictorian of his class. Their father, Dr. Lewis Tompkins White, was one of the first African American graduates of Harvard Medical School and founded the Harlem Hospital Cancer Research Foundation. Jane and her family had challenged preconception of what scientists should be. She attended Smith's College and would later graduate with honors from New York Medical College. And in 1949, she started her medical career as an intern at Bellevue Hospital before going on to work with her father at the foundation. Jane had a strong passion for clinical care and a wanting drive to forward new improvements to help diagnose patients. An example of this was when Jane and her father discovered that tumor cells could be removed from the body and studied in a laboratory to find out which drugs would work best on a particular patient. After her father died in 1952, Jane White took over as director of the center and despite institutional prejudice, White rose to prominence in the medical field and was heavily involved in scientific society. At this point, her focus shifted to clinical research for cancer treatment. During these times, cancer was treated with surgery and radiation, but those techniques weren't always good enough to eliminate the cancer cells. There was an emerging cancer treatment that many physicians disregarded, chemotherapy. The use of chemical agents as therapeutics and White and her colleagues made many strides towards establishing chemotherapy as a viable treatment for cancer. They conducted clinical trials that proved that chemotherapy could make certain types of cancer cells regress. White identified specific therapies which are still used today to treat breast cancer and childhood leukemia. In addition to developing cancer treatment, Dr. White also changed the way that cancer is researched. In 1964, White was one of the founding members to form the American Society of Clinical Oncology, known as ASCO for short, which was a professional organization made up of many physicians in the field of oncology with one goal to improve care for those with cancer. Notably, Jane was the only female woman on the founding group. When she retired in 1987, she had authored 135 scientific papers and won multiple awards whilst raising two daughters. She had proven wrong those who said it was impossible to have a successful career and a family as a woman. One of her daughters, Alison Jones, who herself had a PhD, gave some insight into how her mother achieved so much in a time and society which often had preconceived ideas of what a woman's life should be. Alison would say her mother never looked at things as obstacles. She looked at them as challenges and she was a very ambitious person who never let anything stand in her way of doing what she wanted to do. Dr. Sandra Swain, the current president of the ASCO, said in an interview, Jane was part of the group that first realized we need to separate the organizations to deal with the providers who care for cancer patients. But beyond that, it was amazing to see a black woman in her day and age that was able to achieve what she had done. There you go class, I hope you found this informative. Five amazing figures who when you look back at what they had to face but still went on to achieve and strive to improve circumstances for those during their times and for those who came after, it empowers you to see the possibilities of your own future. You can check out one of the other videos in our Insightful Classroom series or watch one of our more in-depth videos about some of the people mentioned in this video today. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button, share and subscribe and see you next time.